when people want you to be creative, to have a good idea, that's what, that's what you should do. You should enter, you should enter in yourself, you should connect with that place of stillness and silence and spaciousness and allow the merging quality of creativity. The best creative quality energy can come from that place. So you do like a practice, a kind of formal practice like this, the way we did, in order to see your creative quality. So if there was a purpose, for sure, that, that one should do. But here, we are not trying to do that. We are not trying to be creative, particularly. We are trying to be, let old self go and find clearly a new sense of self, recognizing ourselves. We are saying, help me to recognize myself. Because otherwise, if, if you get mixed between two, Help me to be good artist. It can be a little problem there. What does, who is that? The smart ego, you know, all these bad artists let go, blocked, <laughs> controlled, let go. I want a good creative idea. I, artist, okay. Okay, yes, I am. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm better than these people. At least, <laughs> I saw the painting of the other guy here, you know. <laughs> so you see, so the purpose of the original practice here, you have kind of manipulated and find another form of ego, which is not the purpose of the practice here. Here, the purpose of the practice, let go all of it. Let the creativity come by itself rather than creating a creative ideas. You know, it's, it's a different different kind of creativity. You know, because genuine sense of genuine sense of creativity seems like a, it's very free, free to finish, and free to not finish. Most of our creativity, there's a deadline. So that's the problem about the creativity. And some deadline is really a deadline. And some deadline is a little playful. And some deadline has more openness. So you have to be kind of careful with that, right? But, but there's a positive side to that. Not, not particularly in the purpose of this practice, but there is that, that piece that I think definitely should people should do that. For example, uh, in terms of the body, when you don't know what to do, don't do anything. When you don't know what to say, don't say anything. When you don't know what to think, don't think anything. That's the best <laughs> advice. Right? Does that make sense? Because when you don't know what you want to do, say, think, we force ourselves. That's the punishment you're giving to your body. That's the punishment you're giving to your speech. That's the punishment you're giving to your mind, forcing yourself. And neither it will be creative, even it looks like creative, it's the pain. It came out of control and force. So it's far better. And then in this, this, what I'm saying during here, giving permission to not to do, that's important. You know, at least, like for example, if you're doing like a 45 minute of practice, there's this tendency to, oh, I wish she can talk more teachings, you know, instead of just sitting in silence. I can do that at my home. <laughs> I don't know, I, don't, I hope you don't think that way. <laughs> In case if you're thinking that way, though, that is one mind there, right there. He's just finding another another way of another way to mess up things. I allow myself to rest this forty-five minutes. This is my gift to myself. Moment, even you consciously say something like that, some somebody in your in your system hears it. Oh, really? Okay, thank you so much. 
because we don't allow ourselves. Allowing. I think that's very, very important. It's like, I mean, as, as I'm saying, you know, even the idea when I say, just this is a little gift for your life, you know, like a, during these, these kind of retreats when we come together. It's a gift. We are saying, I give you 15 minutes to just forget about everything, reflect in your life. This is what, why we're here for. This is a gift. Of course, it's a truly a gift. When I'm home, when children are crying and husbands are doing this and that and the work, the deadline, I cannot too much stop. This is a gift for myself. To remain silent, to reflect. When you see that way, when you feel that way, your body, speech, mind responds to it totally different way. It, it feels it's a gift. And it responds like it, it receives that message. So that's important for us to do, no?